Hey everyone, my name is Abhay Rekar and I'm a software professional with around 4 years of experience and I'm creating a small playlist for Slide Nerd on Java collections and generics. I'll be uploading the complete playlist on my own channel along with a lot of other content. So do check out my channel as well, the link will be in the description below. Hey everyone, welcome back. In the previous tutorial, we saw how to use generics in Java. Now, generics are mainly used with Java collections. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction to collections. Now, in simple terms, a collection is an object that groups multiple elements into a single unit. Now, you all must be aware of an array data structure, right? So an array in Java is also an object that groups multiple elements into a single unit. But an array does not come under collections. Java collections mainly represents all the dynamic data structures. So Java collections consist of classes and interfaces which mainly represents all the dynamic data structures, that is, structures which can grow and shrink in size during runtime. Okay? So under Java collections, we have interfaces like list, map, set, queue, or classes like array list, hash map, hash set, link list, and so on. Now let's look at one of the most commonly used collections in Java and that is an array list. Now this array list class, uh, it implements the list interface. Okay. Now as we know, Java collections are mainly dynamic data structures. So they grow and shrink in size during runtime. Now array list is a dynamic array, which means we don't have to specify any size for it. So its size will automatically increase once it reaches its initial capacity. So internally, an array list would be something like this. Okay, so this is the non-generic version of array list and this is the generic version of array list. Okay, so internally, this array list class will maintain some array, okay, with some initial capacity. And once it reaches its initial capacity, it will uh, automatically increase its size by some factor. Okay, so internally, it will be using an array data structure, right? And that is the way an array list becomes dynamic. Now, if you look at the non-generic version of array list, then we can see two main methods over here. The first one is add, which takes one parameter of type object and has a return type boolean. And the second method is get, which takes one parameter of type int, which is an integer index and has a return type object. Then similarly, we have a generic version of it, which again has the same method add which takes a parameter of the type which the user will pass while creating its object and it also has a return type boolean. Then similarly we have a get method which takes an integer index as parameter and returns an object of the same type which the user will pass. So add method is used for adding elements into the array list and get method is used for retrieving elements from the array list based on the index. Now remember one thing over here, we don't have two array list classes. Okay? We just have one array list class, but it will behave differently. So if you don't pass any type information to it while creating its object, then it will behave like this. That is like the non-generic version. And if you pass some type information to it while creating its object, like integer or string or any other type, then it will behave like the generic version. Okay. But until Java 1.4, we just had one version of array list. That is the non-generic version. Okay. So this was just a rough structure of the array list class. Internally, there are a lot of other things, but as of now, we are just concerned about these two methods. Okay. So yeah, that's it guys. This was an introduction to Java collections. We are going to look at a lot of collections later in this course. So thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. If you are into Java or web development, do subscribe to my channel. The link will be in the description below. I will be uploading a lot of more content over there. Thank you for watching.